Let's go. All right, we, we got Green Hill Zone. Interesting. I don't see a lot of set start here. See, never went like this because uh, he typically likes to not leave the ledge. And on this stage, like the ledge is really close to you at all times. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so he's like always at home. Oh, unless you get fucking nine hammer in the face. <laughs> what a stupid fucking character. Like, Doc looks around like, yeah, you motherfuckers know. <laughs> dude, have you? Uh, you probably don't. What? What do you uh, want? No, do you know any shit about soccer? Okay, I okay, I played soccer when I was uh, 11 and 12, I think. Oh, I was gonna say you did it like what? Do we were like, undefeated. You look like Eric Cantona, celebrating after all his goals. Celebrating after playing a fucking child sport that no one yeah. watches in America. <laughs> yeah. No, how come USA does not give a fuck? about soccer um because we're not better than it at everybody I, else soccer, <laughs> dude but soccer kind of blows right like i think baseball and soccer are super boring i like soccer i, I think baseball is pretty boring you know what's really funny is that is uh yeah, share the mic, such guys. a big big deal about uh women's women's soccer only making like 2.8 million dollars but they don't get any ratings yeah, nobody like, gives a shit about women's soccer. Like, nobody gives a shit about it. Yeah, nobody no, gives a shit about you. women's sports in general, yeah. unless it's like the women exclusive ones, like gymnastics. People like will watch women's soccer like only if it's the world. Right, exactly. And it's it's the same with the uh, USA, but uh, they just get more because uh, any won, any like, sport. Million dollars, and I don't. Think that's it. Okay. I feel like any sport where they can take a commercial break mid game and it's fine is just like horseshit. So football. Yeah, I don't like football that much. Watching basketball. it. Basketball. Um, basketball, I enjoy watching a little more, but it's really frustrating because I feel like there's just too many like weird arbitrary rules and stuff. That's like, oh, I decided that this is a that this is a call that I'm gonna make. It's like, yeah, fuck that, you. Why are the officials? I stopped watching because in 2009, the officials the won the fucking game five and six and seven. They just decided we want we want more games, and I couldn't help but believe in like conspiracy theories and shit. He was a uh, the, uh, the dude like mafia ties or something. What are you gonna say? He had mafia ties and he rigged the game. Yeah. He was a ref and he was white person. I think the lottery is horseshit. I think it's total horseshit. I think all of it is terrible. But it's a fun game to watch. I'd say that because it's it's going. You understand the plays. They're fast and it's not just athletic strong people mashing heads and it's not a bunch of dudes running around kicking a soccer ball. And a fucking air monster. A goddamn hangar. An airline like stretch of land. Like why the soccer field so big? Like let's make it let's make it a foosball table. <laughs> Let's give him. Dude, they made it big because I don't know. People are athletic and had to keep on having advantages for running farther. Like, oh, dude. Get okay, me. once all, once Will Chamberlain started making 100 points a game, they didn't just like, well, let's make it 15 foot high. Uh, hoops. Well, no. See, the thing is, Will Chamberlain was a, a six eight, kind of semi athletic black guy. Oh. And like, he was, guard. Playing, he was playing up against, playing against <laughs> like six five foot white guys, and it's just like, come on, man, you have no competition. Dude, it's so funny when you like talk to racist people about basketball and they're like, oh yeah, Larry Bird the greatest of all time. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny? He was like hella marketable because of that. And you know, it, it, it's, it's crazy because like, oh, it's, uh, good game one. <laughs> it's crazy because he was on covers of magazines and video games and shit. Like he was on like Sega Genesis cartridges and shit. Why? Remember that joke Bill Murray made in Space Jam? He says, no, Larry's clear. Remember that? He's lying. I can't remember. Uh, it's been way too long since I've seen that movie. Who, who won? John? No. Okay. Yo, because I know game one, the beginning of it was like a crazy zero to death. But like, I've seen yeah, him do that to his hammer, like, on he's Reddit and shit. So. Stupid fucking bullshit. Gimmicky, stupid Go. character. Oh, flip it over. Like, it has my, it has my name. I should oh, yeah. never talk about sports in public. I don't know anything about sports anymore. Like, I don't, I didn't really ever, I, enjoyed, I shouldn't talk about it. I enjoyed it. hearing you talk about it. I'm passionate, but it's fake. Like, I don't actually know. But also, I just also, feel like, things. You are, like, saying, like, opinions and stuff, and they're not, like, wrong, but you're also not being a dick about it. You're just like, oh, fuck sports. Why are you even fucking talking about and, like, that? You no, I get, I get the love of sports because I watch fights, and I love, I get, re I really get behind it. But, but, hold on, though, with fights, though, because here's the thing. It's not a team sport, but I don't have to hate the person who's fighting against my favorite. I'm like, dude, I really like both these guys. Like, good. I love the sport, like, the yeah, fights. Yeah. With, with football, it's like, here's what happened. I used to be a Raiders fan. We fucking hated San Francisco 49ers. We hated Jerry Rice. We keep Jerry Rice. What? You're going to wear his name on your fucking back? I have a tattoo that says, fuck Jerry Rice on my back. I can't put a jersey over it that says Jerry Rice. I can't do it. 
He changed the color of his shirt and we like him now? Bullshit. It pisses me off a lot, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Jerry Rice totally did play for the Raiders. Yeah, he sure did. I remember because I stopped watching. Also, they got annihilated by the Bucks and uh, I was just thinking Grand Finals. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the grand Finals, dude. The Grand Finals of uh, Bucks were on winner side and they just like just destroyed them. <laughs> Didn't even let them bracket it. Uh, but yeah, like the fighting, I, I root for like a fighter, but I root for whoever's good. Like I just like seeing good skill and technique and strategies counter each other and shit. And any sport where that gets lost, it bothers me. But that's more the fans fault, right? Because yeah. they have to gear it towards like whatever's gonna sell the most ad space. Just kind of so nowadays, and it's just like, yeah. Like stuff that is like kind of be just so do, do you know anything about NASCAR? So I used to hate NASCAR as a kid because I was like, if they're going to circles, I'm good for it. But uh, my dad like loved it because he's like, uh, what, white? He's Caucasian male. Yeah, and he's a little like older, wears trucker hats. Yeah. T-shirts that have paint on them and he wears them because they're, they're clean. He washed them, yeah. but they still have paint on them. Yeah. So he would explain certain things to me and their strategies and it made me start like enjoying it yeah. when it was on. And uh, But then they started adding all these weird infographics and like the cameras have all this like weird HUD and like, you know, like, They'll should draw on it with yellow lines and other sports. They start doing that kind of stuff, and there's all these weird tracking. And like, it just looked like a like a video game. Like the, all the shit layered over it because they had to try to get ratings. Like people don't understand enough. It's kind of interesting. Dude, uh, making is jumping is That's not a new thing. Yeah, it has nothing to do with this game. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I know Don loves it going for a beat a hammer. So we'll talk about that. I beat a hammer. You know what, uh, That's more boring than talking about NASCAR? I never would have imagined, dude. Dude, so with basketball, I don't know what it is. But, like, there's too much scoring for me to care. Dude, that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Is that why you like soccer so much? Because there's like none scoring at all, and then like it's once the somebody opposite. does, you fucking go crazy. You go crazy, but guess what happens when you score two points and it's a hundred, uh, hundred points per team right now? Like, who gives a shit? Like, it's, it. How come every game is close? Well, not every game, obviously. There's blowouts, but a lot of games are close when they're scoring like 90 points per team. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. It's basketball super chatted. It, and, and I get that. And the more I recognize certain uh, plays, moves, or, or counterplay, like strategies and stuff, the more I do enjoy watching it. So I, I do understand it's fun to watch, but it, it, it does feel insignificant. Every point is like minuscule. Like, it's like I don't know when to cheer. Like I could be like impressed by stuff. I'm like hell yeah, that was a fucking sick play. But I'm like, but it's like a sick play costs the same amount as like a layup. As like a super people, boring breakaway, people, right? Like, same, like a dunk only costs two points. A breakaway or like a sick ass like juke. Yeah, like somebody does like a backflip into a dunk. It's like that should be worth more points. An Iverson highlight reel doesn't add up to more points than like the most boring player. Yeah, so let me put your score first. Fuck these guys.